Preview South Korea, a country with only three A-class heroes even when viewed on a global scale, has an unusually high number of powerful A-class villains. The frequency of terror attacks, relative to the population, is also higher than average. From a logical perspective, it isn't easy for a country like this to function properly, with a significantly greater number of villains compared to heroes. How can society be maintained? However, surprisingly, South Korea continued to run quite peacefully, aside from some unsatisfied individuals. Egostic, why no terror? Egostic, why no terror? Egostic, why no terror? I, I think I'm going crazy. 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 Isn't it a crime for a villain not to commit terrorism? Turn on the broadcast when I'm still speaking kindly. Do you want to see people go insane? A comment share. That's impossible, didn't he just do a broadcast lately? He was dealing with the villain named Scream Maker, but that's not terrorism. From the perspective of the victim, it would be terrorism strengthen your villain sensibilities a bit, folks. Geez, is it a crime to commit terrorism and not commit terrorism? Ha <laughs> ha just give up, and someday he will come. Ha <laughs> ha seriously. It's all these weirdos who keep posting other nonsense terror videos. But the genuine mangostic videos never show up. Ha ha ha, it just doesn't do terrorism. Ha ha, the Mango Union Declaration of Gratitude. Go to black and white photo of Egostic. Shaking his cape, your dedication and passion have propelled South Korea's talented society to greater heights. Now that you're not by our side, even in a future without you, we will miss you. Thank you for your hard work. Good rest in peace. Rest in peace. In honor of the greatest villain of this in South Korea, Egostic Mangostic, comments thank you and respect. Goatee was happy to live in the same era as you. Goat, rest in peace in heaven. I was honored to live in the era of Mango. Thank you shedding tears and giving a thumbs up. No, damn it. Egostic is dead. Why are these crazy people trying to kill him? Ha ha ha. But he doesn't even turn on the broadcast. How can you say he's alive? There's no way that he's alive but doesn't do any broadcast. Come on it's been three months since Mango left us. And you still can't accept it. Accept it. Don't send Mango to the United States. For God's sake. Ha <laughs> ha Gostick. Can you see this? We miss you so much. We've gone mad waiting for you. The only solution is terrorism. Thank you. Ha ha ha. Come on. You've known that there are several months between each broadcast. But why can't you just wait? Don't you just need to live your current life until he returns? Ha? Huh? Mango is life to me. Detected a Stardust fan cave spy aren't you aware of the current situation? We can't live without Mango. Man, it's been months since the last terror attack, isn't it? The last one was that joint operation with the Japanese villain, right? It feels like it happened ages ago. Haha <laughs> South Korea is doomed without Egostis and flows as seriously annoying back then. If Mango committed a terror attack, there was no way to predict when the next one would happen. There weren't even fan caves like this back then. So I just lurked in the general news community. Haha, <laughs> compared to back then, it's so much more comfortable now. The inflows don't seem to know that, for real. Haha. <laughs> But it's still annoying as hell. Seems like he doesn't even turn on the broadcast more and more. Ha <laughs> ha. Comments poor Mango Union. Seriously back then. When Egostic broke the bridge. Ha <laughs> ha back then. When Egostic was seriously trashed. The Mango Union members would unite so tightly. Ha 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 ha. Why did they act like shit to Egostic when they had received money? Ha <laughs> ha the public opinion made a degree turn when Hen Yun Group's monster fell into water and died after his bridge collapsed. It was hilarious. Ha ha these die hard mango fans are talking about the past again the hard mango fans. Ha ha the funny thing is that Egostic used to commit terror attacks pretty frequently back in the day. How many attacks happened in just a few weeks. He even set up Ego Stream. 
and everything happened after that, that's right, he committed a lot of terror attacks back in the day, ha <laughs> ha I'm starting to see signs that this cave might get closed, should I leave the cave, mango stick, since you're not doing terrorism, the site is getting screwed up. Please do some terror. But what I'm curious about is what Egostic is doing. What kind of villain does commit terror and keep delaying it? Oh, come on, what did I do? Thank you for saying that. No, even beasts understand gratitude. And how can I let this pass? I won't forget this, and I will repay this favor. We are friends, haha. <laughs> After returning from Cathedral, I was on a call with Lake Hyofing, who had checked the file I sent him or immediately called the number we exchanged, as I expected. He was determined to repay this favor. Well, I knew it would turn out this way. Given his concept, he wouldn't just say thanks and let it slide when he received something like this. He'll definitely try to pay it back. After all, he's aiming to become a hero. Besides that, it's possible that he realized the potential I have and wanted to get closer to me. Thinking it might not be a bad thing, I always emphasize that in Cathedral, I intentionally make myself appear mysterious and powerful. The fact that I've been decrypting bomb information is an extension of those things. Anyway, it seems that everything went according to plan, and like Hyofing has become more friendly toward me. In fact, he reacted even more positively than I expected to the extent that I was taken aback. Perhaps it's all part of his calculated personality. In any case, after dropping several hints about the three-party alliance, we agreed to meet up for a drink whenever we had time. The call ended positively. He lowered my phone from my ear and put it back in my pocket. While I was outside on the balcony for the call, I leaned on the railing and gazed at the scenery outside. Good. Things are going well as planned. I can sense the formation of the East Asian Villain Union right in front of me. If this happens, South Korea will be a bit safer than before. Bef having international allies is probably better than not having any. The build-up took a while. But anyway, it's a success, and I'm relieved. Especially considering the chaos caused by villains coming from Japan and China in the original work. This is necessary. Of course, there was a minor problem that I was not committing terrorism to achieve this. But it wasn't a big issue. Saving the country now is the top priority. And that's what really matters. Well at least most of it is resolved now. I muttered to myself while gazing blankly into the air. Now the second batch of our Egostic squad members has been selected. And I've also met the association president to initiate cooperation. On top of that, I can see the outline of the East Asian Villain Union's establishment with Katana and like Hyofing everything I've been preparing for a long time is gradually falling into place. So, is it time for me to start doing what I want to do now? It's about time. Let's commit an act of terrorism. With that thought in mind, I checked my phone's calendar, the Moonlight Gate, which is the center of all my current plans and is meant to disrupt everything, is set for today. There are still a few months left, which should be enough to train Stardust, especially if I meet Lake Hyofing next time and collaborate on another terrorism act. It should be sufficient to enhance her abilities, in other words, this time. <laughs> Aside from collaborating with that villain against Stardust, it might be a good time for me to do something I went to check my schedule. The day that villain is coming should be around this time. There is still some time before that and it's more than enough to meet Stardust after a long time and commit an act of terrorism. It's not that I want to meet Stardust but I'm doing this for other supplementary reasons. Yeah, I right with that. I started brainstorming a new terrorism plan in my head. Maybe I'll go for an old school style this time. This time. For heroes, reviewing their own battles is essential. If they can review their combat processes through media outlets like broadcasting stations, they should undoubtedly make use of it. This way, they can reflect on their actions and conduct image training to progress further. It was one of the training methods recommended by the association. That's why Stardust, on this day as well, made use of her available time in her office to watch her combat footage. The video she was rewatching this time depicted the incident where the SEAL Trade Center transformed into Demon Den, which was a significant threat to her. It was a terrorist act in which the villain, Demons, appeared, 
Stardust needed to periodically review this video as it was a considerable challenge for her due to the strength of her, of her opponent, nearly causing her to lose. Anyway, take a break. Does it make sense for my arch enemy to be defeated by someone other than me? I'll handle the rest, of course. What she always seems to be concentrating on in the video is not the fight itself but the scene where Egostic comes flying and takes her place in front of demons, however. It was a misconception, hem, hem. So, today as well, she finished reviewing it with slightly flushed cheeks. Whenever she heard what Egostic said back then, it always made her feel embarrassed. It's true she's a hero, and she doesn't dislike him. But that, but that, but that, with that, she finished watching the video, turned off the monitor, and sat back in her chair with a puzzled expression. So, when exactly will he return? It had already been several months since Sigostic last revealed his face. Since he left a post-it note after the last Scream Maker incident, it had been impossible to confirm whether he was alive or dead. Egostic could check what Stardust was doing any time by simply searching the internet. Why didn't he let her know what he was doing? Wasn't that unfair? With her thoughts drifting and tapping the end of her desk, she inadvertently muttered, Seriously, when will he come? And, until that time, she didn't know. She didn't know that she would soon see a gostic.